because I have had Malik take supplements, high end, good quality. That's the thing. I feel like quality counts. Hey, you're you're, you're going to love this. It's not a, it's, it's about ingredients, not calories. Exactly. Exactly. And to me, ingredients are so important and ingredients in our regular food are, is not great ingredients, right. ingredients, when you eat out ingredients, when you, um, buy already prepped food, like when you're not cooking, cause when you cook, you can put ingredients in there that are good, you know, but our food, the food system, all of it has really just degraded. Like it's not, it's not good quality anymore. Yeah. So to me, I think that there's certain supplements that actually are beneficial and I think that they help. And I no, I know that they help. And I know that there are certain things you need to take because we're not getting it from our food anymore. Right. That's my take on it. I know you don't like them. I don't not like them. I used to, if anyone's followed me for a little bit, I've used to take a whole bunch and I have actually just do a little, love. I don't know how long it's going to take me like 10 seconds, five, eight seconds. Hold on. One. <laughs> He's going to grab supplements. Oh yeah. How do you know? All right. I don't think there's any in here to be honest, but I used to take this whole thing. Like, a day? Yeah. Oh, they're not in here. Dang it. But, um, I mean, not, you know, it's not crazy, but I would, they basically would have little like apartments and I would have like multivitamin. I mean, it's in, it's, it's in some of my past videos. I had like, you know, super xanthan and stuff like stuff that like, you know, you could just, it's just a lot of stuff. So it was like, I think it was eight and I took a multivitamin fish oil, magnesium, zinc, pretty much you, you name all the main ones. I, I was taking it every day and I probably did it for a good year or two. And not that I didn't like it. Sometimes I would, but I feel like after a long time of taking them, I was, my stomach was getting irritated and I'd wake up with like, I would just need, like, if I took those, I would need just like something else in my stomach, which is probably normal. Like you probably need food with all those supplements and stuff, not just, you know, so it's probably normal, but um, I just didn't like the feeling, you know, I, I like to feel good. So I always try to like feel how I'm feeling and then base my practices off of how I'm feeling. That's so huge. That's super important. Yeah. So I started taking them off. Right. And one of obviously like the Xanthan was one of the first ones I took off. Cause I was like, you know, whatever the multi vitamin was like the last one that I stopped taking. And after not taking them for so long, I feel the best I've ever felt. And maybe again, like you said, the quality, you know, I think quality is a big thing. I think supplements, you know, the quality, like, you know, certain companies care a little bit more. So they put better quality in their supplements some supplement companies are huge so it's just like so processed but i've been trying to more and more as i get older stay away from processed everything the yeah. less the least processed is the better obviously we're still if you live in a society it has to you know there's certain sacrifices you have to you have to take just to live in civilization i've learned <laughs> but, uh, you know if, if, if you're not farming your own food you're gonna have some process but the least processed better so that's my take on it. Um, and I totally agree on that. I think that everyone should try to stay away from processed food as much as possible because that's where we find the most sickness. The more organic and the more farm to table that you can, you know, farmers markets during the summertime, um, the more that you can do that, the better. What's What really has happened is instead of, we used to eat seasonal. We used to eat where like this is winter, right? So winter is usually like squash and um, some other veggies and fruits. Like I think pears and a few other things but there's a list there's like the season a seasonal list of what you can have in the what you should have in the winter what you should have in the summer when you eat like that what the earth is giving you then you're able to get all the nutrients that you need because there are certain things like for example watermelon watermelon is a summer fruit and think about that it's literally like all water we yep. need more hydration during the summer Yep. So it's giving us what we need, but we're not eating like that anymore. We are eating what we see in the stores that is shipped in from all over the country. I mean, even we're getting things from out of the country, right? We're getting things in Mexico. We're getting things in tropical places because we want people want tropical I fruit. <laughs> we're getting things from all these different places and it's not seasonal. We have apples year round. Apples are not year round. We have bananas year round. Those bananas are coming from somewhere, somewhere else because yeah. we don't have them here. Right. So what's happening is we're having fruits and vegetables and all of these types of, I mean, mainly fruits and vegetables, I would say that we're getting shipped in from other places that then 
deplete in nutrients because we're not getting it fresh. We're not getting it right away. It's getting shipped and who knows how long it's been there and who knows what they're putting on it to preserve it. And then we're getting it. So growing, obviously growing your own food. Yes. All that stuff, like hundred percent, but there are companies that make like, let's just say like a daily greens powder. Right. They make a green powder that they are able to go and farm themselves, right? They have their own farm. They pick it right away. They freeze it right away. And it's the, and nowadays you can actually like instant freeze where it will like right when you pick it. So it's technically fresh still, they turn it into powder and then you're getting those daily greens as a, in a powder form, but you're getting it very fresh as opposed to having year round bananas that you're getting shipped in and they're picking usually what has to happen is they have to pick them like very very early so that they even last to get to us right Right? so for me when i think about that kind of stuff i my goal is to try to eat seasonal but then on top of that add in some vitamins some nutrients some additional things to help my body continue to get vitamins and nutrients and minerals that it's missing because on top of like our food being shipped in from other places it's also our soil is like so depleted right that's why you're saying supplements are good because it fills in those holes that the foods aren't yes exactly and on top of that um because of the society that we live in because it's so like mass production right our 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 dairy our um food our everything it's like mass production we just have to get food out there and we have to provide it for a whole crap ton of people. It's so bad. It's so bad the way that we're doing it because not, not only is it wasting a ton of food because it, most of it's not even, a lot of it's not even getting eaten, right? It's wasting a ton of food. It's totally depleting our topsoil. So instead of the soil, just, so this is, this is just like us as humans. And this is just like the earth, just like everything in the cycle of life is supposed to be. We're always supposed to get a break. Whether that's in the winter, we take our break, whether it's in the summer, we work really hard and get our body we want for the summer and then take our break. You need a break. You need to rest. And we live in a society that doesn't believe in rest, which is also part of our food system. They don't give our soil. They don't give the farming land a break. And the vitamins and nutrients in soil are not coming back. The the crops are just, they're like basically taking the crops out plowing everything, putting it right back in for it to grow. And there's no break. So the nutrients are missing there. So our food is continually getting less and less and less nutrients. They say like an orange back in the day, you'd have percentage of vitamin C. Nowadays, you're going to need like 10 oranges just to get that same amount of vitamin C. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. So there are things like um, vitamin C, Which you get from fruit. There are things like, by the way, we have seven minutes. Oh, dang it. This is such a good topic. Okay. So there's, um, vitamin like zinc, A, C, D, and E, right though. I can think of those ones, zinc, A, C, D, and E those five vitamins. They're actually vitamins we have to get from our food. So if we are not getting that from our food, where are we going to get it? I believe in those vitamins because we have to get it from our food and our body does not make those specific ones. I like to take a vitamin with all of those in it and to take that supplement, I'm giving my body what it needs because I'm not getting it necessarily all of that from food. So I need to supplement with it because I am not going to make it on my own, right? Vitamin D, you walk outside, you can sit in the sun, you get some vitamin D. So that's why I have, I have taken specific supplements and vitamins and stuff. There's another example is our water. Our water is trash you can look it up on ewg.org on the water base even in even in marin like people in marin think we have like super clean water it's like there's like 20 our tap water has um 20 chemicals above the like regulation 20 chemicals so it's 20 and a little bit more chemicals in the water so if you're drinking tap water you're getting a ton of chemicals in your body so (laughs) this is good for you Stop drinking tap water. The water in Marin is not clean. So what what we're doing is we have to filter our tap water. So since we're filtering the water, we're filtering everything out. That also means the good minerals and we're not getting any electrolytes for that. If you go to 
Tahoe and you go to the mountain and hike up there and drink from a spring, that you are getting vitamins and nutrients and minerals, minerals from the earth. We're not getting any of that anymore. So I take a mineral every single day, a mm. mineral tincture. There's things like that, that I know that we're not getting that I know I have to supplement with. If you want to, if you're watching this and you want more information about this stuff with her, we'll <laughs> leave her like information down below. You could hit her up, but uh, yeah, just because I'm, I'm sure people are be like watching this, and be like, oh, like, how do I get more information? Because we gotta get this soon. But uh, yeah, we'll leave her information and stuff so you can message her and stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, I uh, I agree. Want to ask the viewers when if you're still watching this, thank okay. you. If you're still here uh, in this episode, comment down below. Let us know what you want to hear about in the next following videos, next following episodes. So, so in conclusion, just so you know, supplements are beneficial. In conclusion, you know, do what you got to do. Coach Malik, you can find me on Instagram or whatever. Coach Ashley. <laughs> with, with an S. With an S at the end. And this is Coach's Corner. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next episode. Bye.